I'm just gonna uh, check my diesel tank now. Haven't checked it for a year, so I'm just gonna check for, uh, see if it's got any diesel bug in the bottom or any water. There's the diesel tank under the seat. And uh, I've got a uh, place here where I can dip the tank and that's where I, uh, the, only, the only hole in the top of the tank. As you can see uh, last year, you can see where the tape is there. Uh, right round a bit over there where I uh, actually cut the uh, this piece of the uh, this piece out in order to uh, get the tank out. Right, uh, to open the tank up, I've got a socket I put on this plug here and pull that out. This is what I use to uh, to uh, to uh, check the tank. I've got a bit of copper wire. It's pretty thin, like that. You know, very small. It's probably a millimeter, two millimeter hole in it. And I plug that in there like that, and then I just put that in the bucket down here. I just Put that in the bucket, like so, and then put that in here. Now, the lowest point of my tank when I took it out, I know, is in that corner. So if I put this down into that corner, which is down there, right in that corner, and start pumping with this outboard bulb, I should. Just going to get some diesel coming out now. Pumped a bit of uh, diesel out the tank and there is some black uh, crud in the bottom. Only seems to be in the corner on the lowest point, which is good news. Uh, but not. I I'd hoped it would be clean. But I haven't done it for a year. I'm just going to put my glasses on, have a good look at it now and see what it is. Get the tank out. But, uh, I've been treating the diesel with uh, this stuff, which is Startron Enzyme Fuel Treatment. It treats 250 gallons. And I bought this last year and uh, it's got a little bit left in it, but uh, not much. So I think I'll have to buy another one of these for, it's for Whitworth. It cost me 25 bucks and uh, put a bit more in. Keep putting a bit in and hopefully that will keep the uh, bug away. That's it for now. I've uh, checked my tank and that's what I've got out. I'm quite happy really to go sailing with that much because uh, it take uh, say uh, probably 20 times as much as that to block the filter at least. So I think uh, we should be all right. Beside the fuel tank there's the locker, a locker here which I keep all the uh, all the spare parts from the engine. Keep a couple of fuel filters down here. Uh, uh, there'll be an oil filter uh, in here as well and all the anodes that I need for, for servicing the trough plus all the uh, stuff in here from uh, down here there's all the fan belts uh, the, everything you need to uh, service the engine and a few spare parts so I keep uh, basically I keep uh, the main spares I keep is uh, a set of uh, seals for the uh, sail drive and uh, a couple of impellers and about three seals for the uh, pump for the water fresh water pump and plus all the anodes I'd need for the uh, sail drive and it's a good place to store stuff uh, for to do with the engine is right next to the fuel tank because this locker gets very hot because the diesel gets uh, basically as uh, if you're running and the tank's running low, it, it gets basically as hot as the engine. The reason that is is because the uh, when the diesel's going, it uh, pumps more diesel than it uses. Uh, it puts into the injectors, so there, there's re there's a diesel return from the uh, from the uh, 
diesel pump on the engine which is a kind of mechanical thing and uh, it pumps uh, uh, quite a bit more diesel than it needs so it comes back into the uh, back into the tank again on a, on a return I was thinking what to do with this bucket of diesel now I've uh, got it out of the tank but uh, if I uh, could manage to pump it out I'm sure I can pump it back in the same way so that's what I'm going to do back down the hole again I don't think I'm going to open the diesel filler up uh, just going to gently pump it nearly all of it out and take the other bit and uh, dispose of it I'm pleased I went through that exercise and checked how much diesel bugs in my tank. Uh, obviously not a lot, so I'm quite happy to go, you know, to go cruising this year with uh, knowing that uh, basically there's bugger all in there. And I, I don't know where that stuff came from. It might have been in the return lines and in the filler line from uh, when I took the tank out, you know, because you couldn't clean those until you put it back in. So. I don't know, but anyway, it's not too much and uh, I can live with that. I'll check it again next year. I'll keep putting in the enzyme conditioner and uh, hope that keeps it away. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you got anything out of this uh, video, please can you press the like button. This is the view out of the cabin across the uh, Brisbane River.